Coming soon to theaters. What's up, guys? It's me, Ann Gaines, and welcome back to another episode of the Xenoverse. Last time we played as full power, or full, not just full power, final form and full power Frieza, which I guess full power final form, I don't know what you would call it, but full power Frieza and final form Frieza. And so today, we're moving on to the very next character and character slot in the game, which you'll see what it is. This should be a pretty interesting video because just based on what the form is and... Oh, I kind of gave away it's a form, but yeah. All right, so we found a room with Troy keeping 136, and he messaged me about something. I don't know what he said. Uh, he messaged me though. Didn't see what he said. Um, and he's playing as Toxic Ice. And he's a freezer race. He's the freezer race chief named Toxic Ice. He's messaging me. Hold on, let me read this real quick. All right, so he was just messaging me about like his level or something like that. So I'm gonna charge up right here. Oh, okay. Oh, so you okay, bro? You cannot do that to me. No, 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 no. no. Okay, because he was messaging me saying. He's lower level. I don't think he realized what limitations are exactly, but he was saying that he's like lower level. But you just gonna disrespect me like that? Like, bro, I can't. I can't hold back on you now. Like, you can't tell me. You can't. You cannot ask me to go easy and stuff like that and then do that to me. Like, no, that's just not how this works. You can't be disrespectful after asking something like that. Like, no. No, no, no. That's not the way of right now, bro. It's not the way we're playing. It's not the way I'm playing. Like, now I'm definitely not going easy on you. That's all I'm saying. Bro, you got the same grab. You just did that to do a data input. Ooh, hit him with that. Okay. Loop around. Come here. Nah, -uh, nah. -uh. We we not playing this game. I'm not playing these games. Come here. Oh, you done for now? You, you out. You out. You out. Goodbye. Nah, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Yep. Emperor's Death Team over there. Woo! Emperor's Death Team is such a good move. But, yeah, as you can see, we're playing as Golden Frieza today. I don't think I mentioned that earlier because he messaged me and it threw me off. But, yeah, we play in Golden Frieza, and it's been a really, really long week. Can we pop up? There we go. Uh, so I'll read his message again, and, yeah. All right, so he's just saying something about me spamming or whatever. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to play Golden Frieza once again. Like, bro, I'm not, I'm not even going to read his next message till after the videos. I'm going to read that off camera next time he messages. But, yeah, so now we got another round of Golden Freeze. And I didn't even get to mention all this, but it's going to be one of these single character videos again because, well, obviously, we've only got Golden Freeze here today. And Villainous, I'm also going to save. I've, 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 I've con or decided that I'm going to save all the Villainous characters for separate videos like I did with Yamcha because he's his first Villainous character. And I'm going to do a Freeza too. Villainous characters are going to be their own videos, but normal, but Golden Freeze 2 also deserves his own video is the thing, so. Um, I bet he's messaging me. I'm not going to read it, though. I don't know what he's doing. Nah, you, didn't, you did not let me charge last time. I'm not about to give you that luxury. I was trying to charge, and then you said nah and attacked me, so, like, nah, we, we're not playing that. Like, nah, nah, -uh. nah, bro. Like, nah, -uh. we, we ain't playing that. Come here. Last him. But I missed, but it's alright. Nah, -uh, stupid. I told you, I'm not playing with you. I'm not playing these games. I already told you this. Uh uh. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know who you think you. what you think you're doing. But it's not that. Bro, you. Stupid. You for real? I'm not gonna let you, you get the chance. Okay, I want to do this to you. Seriously? Oh, I missed. <laughs> well, that was that was kind of whatever. Come on, come here, bro. We got something like this. Ooh, hit him right in the dead in the chest with the single beam. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, um, we're gonna end up doing a bunch of rounds of Golden Freeza, and the, with him, these screens take forever to get back to the normal screen. Yeah, there we go. Finally, geez. But 
Yeah, we got this going with Golden Frieza. Troy, keep it 100. Come on, bro. Uh, is he probably he's probably messaging me again. So if we're on this screen, I'll probably read it. But if we're on the character select screen or in a match, I'm not gonna read it. But uh, he might mess yeah, message me once again. So let's see. No, he did message me. All right. So now we going back. Like I said, gonna keep going with Golden Frieza. Cause that's the wave right now, you know. That's the that's our character we got right now for this video. So we just gonna keep on using him, you know. So and let's just keep going. We got oh now he's using the same character, I bet. Patroller. It just says patroller. I don't know why, but Troy keep it 100. What's good with you, boy? Uh, let's see how his saying pack fares against Golden Frieza. This filthy monkey thinks he could fight me for Lord Frieza. No, I ain't that stupid. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> He's baiting you. He's baiting. Clashing again. Insolence! Frieza. And I got my TV up a little bit, so that's why I can hear. Come on. Like, he really thought that was a banger right there. He really thought that was a banger. Like, come on. He, he really thought he was big brain for that one. Like, come on, bro. I'm way faster than you. You should know this. Maybe, or, I mean, to be fair, not everyone knows that Frieza's really fast. Not Golden Frieza, anyway. But, so, you know. I can't blame him. Come on, bro. Come on. At this point, come on. Did I hit him? Oh, I missed. That's alright. This man really thought that was a banger again. You really thought that was the one, huh? What are you doing? Where are you going? I'm over here. That's why you got frozen. Oh, I missed. This man is really wanna... He really trying to flex just cause he's got... Hey, he really quit. That's crazy. For what? Why'd you quit? That's your fault for you. If you don't want me to grab, don't use data input. That's, that's all I'm saying. He really left because it. That's crazy. Alright, well. We're gonna go find a new room then, hopefully. So let's go. Alright, so now we found a new room with O Tiger 2. O Tiger the second? I don't know. O Tiger something. But yeah, so now we're moving on. Another round with Golden Frieza. And yeah, Frieza's red eyes really like are prevalent with the golden form. It's like. Like, like, they really like stand out on golden form. Just I'm just looking at that. Like look at full power or final form. They still kind of stand out. But golden form, they're like prevalent. Now speaking of golden form, it's something I wanted to talk about though. For Xenoverse three, I really hope that they add a Dragon Ball Super variant. Oh, speaking of Dragon Ball Super Tournament of Power and Kefla, I hope they add a Dragon Ball Super variant of Golden Frieza though, like from the Tournament of Power, like Angel Golden Frieza. I hope that that gets added because that would be lit. Because you know. Golden Frieza was like an MVP during the Tournament of Power. That's all I gotta say. I don't think he's gonna let me charge, so we're not gonna even try it. But yeah, let's let's have some fun here, or hopefully have some fun, unless I get body. Why did you? Okay, never mind it. Why did you stand there and block? What? What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. Can't hit with that. Hey, you can't handle the. Oh, it actually hit. Oh, what? did you see the shading on Frieza right there? That reminded me of the CGI cutscenes, the way Frieza looked right there for a second because of the lighting from Kefla's move. That was kind of lit. But, yeah, come on, Frieza. Come it off, Frieza! Okay, but, um, hit him with that. Hit him with this. Oh, he just evaded? Alright. That works, I guess. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> like, don't let me do that to you. Like, okay, ah, that was disrespectful, but I had to do it. Like, come on, they really stood there and blocked me. Break their sound. Like, come on. But hey, we're gonna keep going now. Now, like, obviously, I could leave rooms of people like this where I'm just kind of dominating. But it's like, been all right, you can't quit, you know. But uh, like I said, on Xbox, it's a struggle to even find a room, so I just kind of stick with what I get. 
for my videos. So whoever I run into, I run into, and that's who I fight. So, yeah, but he kicked me anyways. So but probably because he, <laughs> he was mad because I disrespected him like that for that kill. But, <clears throat> yeah, let's uh hop on in to another room. All right, so now we found a room with Halfway Clone 12. So let's see how this one's going. We got, once again, Golden Frieza. Uh, we'll just do a few more rounds. We've only been recording 15 minutes, surprisingly. It's felt like a lot longer because of the amount of rooms we've been in, but it's only been 15 minutes. Um, but, yeah, once we get you know higher up there for recording time. Ooh, Golden Frieza versus Future Trunks. Ooh, this would be an interesting fight. I mean, if Rage Trunks was in the game, maybe, but... <laughs> You know, no Rage Trunks, but still, Trunks versus Frieza. Rage Trunks versus Frieza. I feel like Golden Frieza Tournament of Power will dominate, but still, be an interesting fight. I don't know why I started charging. Now I've done that. But that would be a real interesting fight, to be honest. Like, I kind of, I kind of want to see a what if about that or something. But that that sounds kind of cool. Frieza, Rage Trunks versus Golden Frieza. Yeah, that would be a nice, interesting fight. Actually, I, f I feel like they would do that, too, because, you know, Trunks kind of killed Mecha Frieza, so, like, I could see it. Them having Trunks and Frieza have a rematch, but it's, like, a full fight this time. Oh, that would be lit. I'm all for that if they do that when Super comes back. Like, I mean, if they bring back Trunks again, obviously, but... Oh, well, speaking of Trunks, in his timeline, I wonder how it's like having the two Trunkses and two Mize. Must be kind of weird for them. But I wonder if they're going to, like... I feel like they're going to show us that at some point, the two Trunks and two Mize. If they do, I wonder... Because I feel like that what they'll probably do is design Trunks in two different ways so you can differentiate the two, maybe give them different clothes or something. But I'm wondering, are they going to redesign the Trunks from our timeline or the Trunks from... Wait, why is my stamina still... Hold on, why was I still, like, staggered from that? Do you still get staggered after Burning Strike? Is that a thing? Or is that just, like... Wow, did not, I did not mean to go for a stamina break. Yeah, that was completely my fault. But, uh, yeah, I guess, is that, like, a thing that they updated or something? Because I don't remember that ever being a thing before. Like, you still get staggered after doing, uh, Burning Strike on someone? And <laughs> wow, I barely got hit. They, that thing scuffed my shoes, and I barely died. Like, wow. thing scratched my forehead, and then I died. Like, come on, bro. Like, I, I really thought I was out of range. I, I could have been, too, if I backed up a little bit more, but... Yeah, so, halfway clone, we gonna rematch this man's, and yeah, he might be the last guy we fight, actually, depending on how long the rounds last, but, yeah, we're just gonna keep on going, but come on, I can't, <laughs> I can't not believe that thing scratched my forehead and then I died, Ultra Great Demon King, that's his cat, no pupils, Gohan's high school, oh no, he does have pupils, they're very small and red, though, I didn't even see them at first, so my fault, you got pupils, but, we got Geld in Frieza to fight. But, yes, but, okay, so to continue what I was talking about earlier, because I just thought about this, too. Um, so, for Angel Gold and Frieza, like I said, I hope they add a tournament power version, but obviously, like, not what they did with Gogeta and just add a Halo for the second preset. I really don't understand that for Gogeta, though. Why did they make two presets, one with and one without a Halo? Because he's the only character like that, where they have two presets that, the, that are exactly the same, but just they, um... Is this man's troll spinning, spinning? But it's just like a... Uh, accessory changes or something like that. Like, I'm pretty sure he's the only character in the game like that, and I don't know why they did it. Like, I'm surprised they didn't just do one preset with, you know, just um, the Halo Gogeta. I don't know why they did one without. But they just kind of decided to. I mean, like, I'd understand if they at least changed the moves up or something, but they didn't at all. It's literally, he's got the exact same move for two presets. But one's got a Halo, one doesn't. That's the only difference with this he, he's gonna evade out of it but didn't evade all the way out of it but yeah it's just it's just weird to me that they did that but no for angel golden freezer though i hope they add in like the death beam cage the red death things would be great uh maybe even from dokkan the great death beam. oh he did cross arm die but maybe from dokkan you know the great death beam where you shoot the part where he shot off a bunch of those soldiers you know oh i'm gonna die i can't evade wow my stamina barely didn't come back in time but no, that part where he shot up all them soldiers that came from him from the other universe have, you know, that move, the Great Death Beam. That would be lit if they added that Angel Golden Freeze in this game. Like, that would bring so much life. Like, it, it would just be lit. But, obviously, I feel like that this DLC pack's gonna be the last one. I know I've heard, I've seen some other people that like Burkle and all of them saying that, like, it's not gonna be the last one. I don't know, I just feel like it might be the last DLC pack. Which, um, 
the next one coming out, like, uh, which actually, today it was revealed that, so we already knew about 21 a while ago, like, that got revealed a few weeks ago, but now, the next character got revealed, and it's Majub, like, Boo, or Oob fused with Boo is the next DLC character in the game, which, now I'm wondering, hopefully they do it like the last one, and they add three characters to this, to this DLC, I don't know if they will, oh, now he's using Golden Freeze, alright, I don't know if they will, but I kind of hope that they do add, you know, two, uh, two, two more characters along with 21, because that would just be lit, you know, it'd be fun. Like, I don't know, it just, it would make it better, like, it, just adding more characters, which, I mean, someone also pointed out, which was, like, a really good point, that the way they've been doing the DLC is every character has, like, a character that relates to them. So, like, uh, when UI Goku came out, Jiren did, and so did, you know, Kefla also connects with UI Goku, Champa Vados, Kaba Frost are from Universe 6, and they have hit, like, They've pointed out that all the DLC characters have like someone related to them, so that's why it makes for Oob it makes sense because we got Baby already, so Oob kind of connects me. There was like a whole chart someone made. I'd have to go back and find it, but yeah, like they someone pointed out that it just makes sense for Oob because you know Baby didn't have like a partner, and they meant like partner by theme, not by release. Like you know, obviously Kefla and Baby came out at the same time, but he meant like partnered up by release or by like theme of the characters. Like UI Goku fought. Kefla, uh, it's, and he fought, obviously, Jiren, and they came out at the same time, actually, Goku and Jiren, but, yeah, so it, was, it was, like, a pretty good point that they made, and, like, I, it kind of, it makes a lot of sense, yeah, that's why, but at the same time, that's why I feel like we should also get God of Destruction Topo, because Evolution Vegeta doesn't have a partner, like, another one they pointed out is that they released Broly, Gogeta, and God Vegeta, because, you know, DBS Broly, that's, like, that, that was the theme for those characters, but, but, you know, like I said, Evolution doesn't have anyone yet, I mean, unless you say MUI and Jiren because Tournament of Power, which I guess you could say, but maybe, I don't know. I don't know about that one. That one might be a little bit of a, more of a stretch, but that's why I feel like we should get Topo to match up with Evolution. Like, it would just work. They do that. So, uh, can y'all please do that? I'd be real happy. Well, there we go, hit him with the death beams. I don't think his stamina will come back. Oh, it barely came back in time kind of whack oh no I'm dead no 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 uh -uh. no -uh, I'm flying away no nah, boy <sighs> that was so close I almost died come here oh no 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 oh I'm dead I'm so dead oh come on I, I tried to teleport my stamina didn't come back in time man that was so close I, I was really close to winning right there dang but yeah just yeah, like I said, they should have got a structure helpful. That could be the third character, potentially, actually. That'd kind of be cool. Like, we got a character from Fighters, then a character from GT, then a character from Super. Like, you know. And they did three for the last one, so, like, you know, why not three for this one? But, obviously, like, when, whenever Oob comes out, though, definitely gonna play him. Because he seems like he could be fun. Like, it, just Oob being in the game. Sounds like he could be fun. I haven't seen anything on him, though. So, hopefully, he's at, at least a fun character to play as. Because then I'll definitely, like, use him a lot. But yeah, but a lot of people have been complaining about Oob, which, like, I kind of get why, because, you know, it's just Oob over a lot of other characters they could have put, but still, like, at least we got him now, right? Because I've been also seeing a lot of people ask for Oob, which is kind of weird, like, it's kind of funny, everyone's, I've seen a lot of people ask for Oob, but now everyone's complaining about Oob, like, what? It's kind of weird that, like, I don't know, it, it, it's kind of wild, like, I've been seeing that all over, like, Twitter or whatever, that people are just complaining that Oob's in the game, I'm like, didn't y'all ask for Oob, like... I don't know, it's just kind of wild to me, but obviously I'm hyped for Oob. You know, Oob's one of, he's a pretty cool character in GT, so it's just, you know, you know, I kind of, you know, I, I think that he could be fun in this game too, just based on what he has. Like, he could have, like, the chocolate beam as one of his moves, the little lightning tornado thing. You know, like, they could do a lot with Oob and make it really fun. I just hope that they don't. You know, I hope that they at least give him his own original ult and don't give him the Xenoverse 2 treatment and just give him, like, Super Kamehameha, like they did with, uh, like, they disrespected Buhan with that. So I hope they don't do that to him, because if so, I'm going to be highly disappointed, but if they actually give him moves, then, you know, I'll be more hyped for it. They actually give him, you know, his own original moves and not just full power energy wave and Super Kamehameha and consecutive energy blast. Then I'll be fine, like, you know? I'll be perfectly 100% on board with playing Oob. 
as long as they do that. If they don't, then I might use them for like a video, and then that's about it. But you know, that's about it. That's about it for this guy. So death beamed them up. Oh, uh, should I do one more? I mean, we've been kind of playing for a whole while to be honest. It's been. You know what? We'll do one last round, and then we'll call it a video. So whatever happens next round, that's gonna be it for the video. So yeah. Uh, all right. So to end it off, we've got Blue Vegeta versus Golden Frieza, which you know, in the time chamber apparently, because they fought here 100%. I remember, you remember when Frieza came to the time chamber to fight Vegeta? I remember. It was in uh, Resurrection F too. Whoa! What the heck happened to his hand? Right? Did y'all see his hand glitch out? What was that? Jesus' hand was like Walden. Wait, oh, what was that? I'm definitely gonna put some edits on that, but like, like I meant like some sound effects all over what just happened. But that was, huh? Like Vegeta's hand was wilding out. I don't know why that happened, but all right. It was really weird. Like I, I just, you know, I'm just sitting here playing, and then I see that. I'm just like, what? What was that? Oh yeah, we gotta. Oh, perfect block. That was nice. Nice and clean, you know? Nope, I'm staying right here. Oh, I missed my Emperor Blast thing. Okay, let's punch him up. With that. I always forget you can combo after that, because it used to, the crazy finger shot used to, like, launch you away after it was done. I forgot it doesn't do that anymore. That's kind of nice, you know? Kind of nice of them to add. I don't know when they changed it though, but I remember it used to. Oh, whoa! I tried to teleport, it did not work. Is he really going for a fully charged one? You forgot I had my stamina, huh? Did you forget? Did you forget about my stamina bar? Be like you did. Don't try that with me, boy. And it worked. Okay. Shouldn't have. I should, should not have said anything. I'm gonna let you finish, but get death beam. I could have killed him right there, actually. I kind of want to do... Maybe I should have just killed him, actually. I kind of want to do a little bit of this to kill him off. Like that. Ooh! Right! Ooh, yikes, Vegeta. That must hurt. I'm sorry. I did not mean to shoot you right there. Like, yikes, right in your... In your... In your lineage. Like, <laughs> not mean to shoot you there. But, all right. We're going to end off the video now. Because we've been recording for pretty good amount of time did a lot of rounds this video so let's go back to Compton City but anyways guys hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to drop a like down below like I've said before drop a you know drop yourself a little comment and to, for the comment today's comment question of the day it's gonna be the opposite of what I said last time so instead of you know what's your favorite Z fight what's your favorite Frieza fight from Dragon Ball Super and well actually you know what We'll throw in GT too, even though Frieza really didn't fight in GT. He just kind of... I think the only fight he had was against Goku in Hiffle again with uh, Cell. I think that was the only fight he really had. So, yeah. Uh, but what's your favorite fight of Frieza from Super or GT? And, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. But yeah, that's, that's basically it. Uh, and you can count the movies to it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's say... Well, I guess Z... No, never mind. Because you might, you, some of y'all might have counted Z for the movies. But... Anyways, though, without further ado, uh, thank you guys for watching. And like I said, uh, if you like this video that much, go ahead, slap it down to your favorites playlist if, you know, you like Golden Frieza that much. And, yeah, so that's it for this video. And until next time, I'll see you all later. And peace. Have a good day, y'all.